Hi, Tim Unkert from CoderTim.com here. In this video, I want to look at a new alternative to VS Code that builds upon the Atom text editor, and that is the Pulsar text editor. And I have it open right now with some HTML files, okay? So what you'll see here is looking a lot like Atom. Now I've customized this editor slightly. What I've done is I've gone to the settings, which you can access with control comma, and you'll see here, if I scroll down, I have the title bar hidden. I can of course change that to native and it'll require a restart. Okay, the editor has restarted. And when you restart, you get this welcome screen here. You can, of course, uncheck this if you want, but I may go into Pulsar a bit and do a few tutorials on it. Um, I'm gonna close out the welcome here and the change log and go back to the settings. If I wanna view the menu, uh, typically you have the menu shown by default like this. So this is what it kind of looks like right out of the box. Uh, you can go here to view and toggle menu bar, and then you can toggle it with the alt key. So that's pretty nice. Um, if I'm here in a file and I want to close out the sidebar, I can do control and then the slash under the backspace button. And then to focus myself in the sidebar, I can do control and slash, and I'm focused right here where I can use the arrow keys up and down. If I want to create a new file, I can just go to the folder that I want to create a new file and type lowercase a, and that'll let me to input a file. I'm going to just escape out of that because I don't want to do that right now. If I want to create a folder, I can do uppercase a, and then it's going to give me a path to the folder. Much like Sublime Text and VS Code, it does have a command palette. It's actually really similar to Sublime in a lot of ways. You can do Control Shift P to get the command palette, and then you can run through a bunch of commands here. You can also do Control P to switch between the files. So I can quickly switch between the files based on my keyboard, which is really, really nice. It's really fast. Um, this is an Electron app, uh, but it is you know, it's quite quick and snappy. Um, I know there was some talk in the past about how, how Adam was slow. I mean, it takes maybe, uh, you know, 20 seconds to boot up, but then once you have a text editor open, it, it's moving quite fast. I've been working on some HTML pages for a class I'm teaching this morning, and I think I was as fast as I was in any other editor. So I wouldn't hold that against it. Um, one thing that's kind of cool that I'll be doing tutorials on web development here is that it won't get overly aggressive with closing the tags and stuff like that. So if I want to create a section here, uh, I can create a section. It doesn't by default auto close for me. Um, of course, there are packages and settings you can do to change that. Then I can create some paragraphs. I could say this is a paragraph, right? And I can show them how to make a closing tag like that and also how to make the closing section tag and then it indents. There are packages um, available left over from Atom because Pulsar is the follow-up to Atom um, that you can use. So if I want to go to packages and you'll see I've installed a few, I can go to install and I can search through packages and themes. Okay, I can go and take a look at the packages that I've currently installed and you'll see I've installed Adam Beautify, which I think I was getting a deprecation warning on, but you know what? It works just fine. I've installed Atom Live Server, so much like a live server in VS Code, you get the same functionality, and I've installed some nice little pretty file icons to make it look a little nicer. Um, there's, yeah, that That's kind of like a little bling thing. Uh, if I go back to settings here, again, control comma, I can go to themes here. I have one dark and one dark. This is the default theme. This morning I was using base 16 tomorrow dark, which is just slightly darker here, uh, which I kind of like. Uh, but you can do light themes um, if you do, let's do control comma here, and let's switch this to Adam dark here. And if I switch, it's going to take a moment here. And notice this, the tabs here are more like the old school sublime tab. So if you like that, maybe that's a setting for you. Um, I think I kind of like just the one dark 
out of the box. That's kind of nice there. Um, and yeah, and if I want to increase the font size, I can just do control plus, control plus, control plus, control plus, control minus here to uh, get it smaller, and then control zero to reset it to the default setting. Um, let's see what else. So if I go into the settings here, uh, I can go to editor. If I go down here, I could change the font family, default font size. Uh, it's pretty good, I think. Um, I can change the line height, the max screen line length. Um, I can click here to scroll past end if I want. Um, I can do scroll sensitivity, show the indent guide, show invisibles, do soft tabs, do soft wrap. I turn that on. Um, even though I was purposely keeping my line short in the HTML, you'll see here I was trying to keep it. This is the 80 character guide here, so I was trying to you know, keep my stuff readable uh, for my files. Um, yeah, you know, let's see what else you can do. Key bindings here. If you want to take a look at all the key bindings and learn the editor, uh, URI handling, um, packages that install, we already covered that. Any updates, we can check for updates here. I just installed this um, up to date with the version. And here's uh, featured pack packages that you can install. If you want to see the featured themes, you see the add a material or featured themes. But if you go to packages, you got this Dracula syntax. That's a theme too. So you can install all this kind of stuff. I think the themes out of the box are really good. Uh, again, I'd just like to set it up without this title bar here. And then I've got a nice blank page to code on. If you want to check out this Pulsar editor, you can search for Pulsar text editor. It's a free editor, by the way, and we can go here and check it out. And it's pulsar-edit.dev. And if I click on this, we have more information about the Pulsar editor. I think it's a great alternative to VS Code. And I started with Atom back in 2017, um, and I used it for a bunch of years. It's still probably my favorite, which is probably why I like Pulsar. And I'm going to try and use this for as long as I can on this channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing and also sharing the video. Thanks for watching.